Peg Keo here from College Aid Pro. Today, let's talk about should you submit financial aid forms? I hear parents all the time, I'm not gonna get any need-based aid. Why should I submit financial aid forms? Well, myself and all the team at College Aid Pro strongly encourage you to submit your financial aid forms. And let me explain a few reasons why. One reason is that some schools require the FAFSA to be on file to award merit aid. And merit aid is non-need-based aid. It's not based on your finances, but some schools still require a need-based form to be on file to get merit aid. So if you don't wanna leave money on the table and you don't wanna call all the schools on your list and research this, then you should just submit the FAFSA because you know then you won't be leaving money on the table. The next reason is, you know, your life can change. People's lives can change, you know, sometimes not for the better. Somebody can become disabled. Somebody can pass away. And if you've submitted your financial aid forms, then you're on the college's radar and you can have a conversation with them about, hey, maybe I wasn't awarded need-based aid, but my life has changed. And so I'd like to chat with you about that. And that's much easier to do if you've submitted the forms. Another reason is, is you're automatically eligible as the student for direct federal student loans. And these are loans that are in the name of the student. They're typically the best loans out there if, if loans are gonna be part of your funding strategy, which is the quick case for many families. Um, and all you need to do is submit that FAFSA and you're automatically eligible. There's no other requirements. So if you don't submit the FAFSA, you're leaving, you're leaving that, that part of your funding strategy off the table as well. Um, the other thing about submitting the FAFSA is the college sees your expected family contribution. And if your contribution is high, and maybe you don't have a, a eligibility for need-based aid, you know what? If they see a high EFC and they're a school that looks at that, that's not a bad thing because they know the family can afford to pay for college. And that's a concern for them because a lot of kids go to college and, and the parents haven't planned completely and they get halfway through and then they have to they have to transfer because they don't have enough money. So colleges don't like that because it's not good for the student. It's not good for their stats. So if you have a high EFC and that's the reason that you, you don't wanna submit the FAFSA, I'm telling you that that's not necessarily a bad thing. So. Hopefully, I've convinced you that it's a good thing to submit your financial aid forms. And, you know, we're all about supporting families and you really, really don't want to leave money on the table and you want to have all your options available at the end of senior year when you're making your decision and figuring out what schools are affordable and laying out that four year plan. And you might have loans and you just want to maximize your discounts and maximize your options. So get those financial aid forms submitted. And as always, happy planning.